The last weekend, you may remember, we told you about a local mom who's been living the isolated lifestyle for the last year, all to protect her 12 year old son's health. Well, tonight she shares what she's learned in that time for the rest of us. He was a young, thriving boy who played competitive soccer, was in fifth grade, great at school. And one evening I noticed his leg at the bottom of his pants had weird, strange red marks on it. A few days later, Brenda Walker's son, Wyatt, was diagnosed with aplastic anemia. It's a rare bone marrow failure disease, affecting about one in every million people. It essentially means that your white blood cells stop working, your red blood cells, and your platelets. So he was at an extreme risk for infections, not only from the outside world, but from within his own body. Wyatt's immune system was weak, and after having a bone marrow transplant this past summer, it was even more crucial to minimize his exposure to germs. We just kind of shut down our lives. For the last year, they've been staying at home and staying safe. She's learned a lot from the experience, and now that we're in a pandemic, she's sharing her best tips to stay healthy. Some may sound familiar. Wash your hands often and thoroughly. Avoid touching your face. Wearing a hat or pulling your hair back might help with that. Take your shoes off when you walk through the door. And when it comes to talking to your children about what's going on, Brenda says to be open and honest. They do understand that something different is happening in the world, and they might not tell you what they're feeling, but they do need extra love and comfort too. And while you're staying at home, Brenda reminds parents you don't always have to use your extra downtime productively. Allow yourself grace. Allow yourself, if today's not the day, to do all the house cleaning and to do all the academics. Know that that's okay, and tomorrow we'll be here, and you can get it done then. Above all, remember, we're making these sacrifices to protect one another, and this too shall pass. It does definitely make you stop and realize how good things were, even when they might have seemed tough, and how valuable the people in your life are to you. When any one of them is at risk of having something happen, it, it lets you know, okay, I really love this person and I need to keep them safe. So what am I going to do? What's possible for me to keep these people safe in my life? Best and great advice. Well, there is